Hi everyone, hope everyone is uh, doing uh, well today. Uh, so today we wanted to show uh, three additional stretches uh, to do after uh, running. We know it's uh, getting uh, beautiful outside, you know, after you run, you know, things might be a little tight and sore. So we just want to demonstrate three stretches, one for the glute area, one for the hamstring, and then another one for your calves uh, that gives it that good stretch so that you're not uh, uh, feeling too sore after. So the first one, we're gonna focus on the glutes. So what you wanna do is lay flat on the ground or on the table, whatever you feel comfortable with. So the first step is uh, you're gonna be bending both your knees, okay? So if you're stretching the left side, so what I'm gonna get you to do is just to uh, bend the, uh, your knee and put your, your ankle on the opposite knee. So with both of your hands, you're gonna come and try and reach your uh, um, your knee here, you know, with your head relaxed, you're just gonna pull towards your chest until you feel a nice and strong stretch, you know, in the glute and deeper or external rotators in your hip. And you can hold that for about 30 seconds and do three sets on each side. All right, thanks for your Now, second uh, stretch uh, that we're gonna be doing is for uh, the hamstring. So you can use a, a strap like this. And uh, I'm gonna get Leah to demonstrate it. So you're just gonna wrap this, the, the strap around your foot, you know, right underneath the ball of your foot, or right on the ball of your foot, as long as it's nice and secure. So what I'm gonna get you to do is to pull a straight, your leg as straight up as you can. You can either have the opposite leg straight, but if it's too hard on your back or if you find it's too tight uh, and not uh, bearable, you can just you know, bend the opposite knee to make it uh, easier. So you want to pull to the point you feel a nice strong stretch on the hamstring and you, you might feel also a pull in you know, the calf area. And same principle, you want to hold it for about 30 seconds and do three sets of, as needed uh, on both sides, alternating each side. All right. And to finish, uh, we're gonna use the steps right there uh, to do a calf stretch. So if you have at home, uh, you know, uh, stairs or maybe a, you know, a footstool, what I'm gonna get you to do is to stand on. All right. Okay. So you need to turn around so that you can see the piece of the wall. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, so step back a little bit. See. You're just going to do a heel drop on the one side. Okay, so I'm going to yeah, slide this uh, foot forward. Yep. So you're just going to, you know, let your heel drop as far down as you can and uh, stand on your foot around, around the, um, uh, the ball of your foot at the edge of the step and let the heel drop until you feel a nice strong stretch in the calf. Uh, area. So you can hold it as well for about 30 seconds. You know, after 30 seconds, you're going to switch legs and apply the same intensity. And now to make 30 seconds on each side. And uh, this could, uh, this should you know, give you a, a nice release, in the, uh, release of the tension in that area, especially after the run. So that'll be all for uh, today. And uh, you know, stay tuned for more information on how to stay healthy uh, as you get back to your running program and as uh, we slowly get back into a normal routine after this pandemic.